Shut up. You made me pass through difficult hurdles. I almost died. I lost my senses. I saw hell. I'm sorry. I did it because of you. I did it because of the love I have for you. You know how much I love you. Please, I'm sorry. I don't ever want to see that child in this palace again. Never. They told me not to marry you because you're not educated. But I married you because you're a good man. Because I love you. And I know that you are still a good man. Father is dead. What? Whatever that has to do with life, whatever that can take or give life, be careful, handle with respect, because it is so sacred whatever that has to do with life whatever that can take or give life be careful handle with, with respect because it is so sacred be cautious and careful in life to avoid regrets and living in grief. Be faithful to your cause and your subjects. Always be genuine and honest. I forgive you.
I'm sorry for calling you people out at this time of the night. The great Iroko has fallen in his Yala kingdom. Adora brought the sad news to me today. <clears throat> it is indeed a very great loss. Very, very unfortunate. But who are we to question the gods? Let us keep this sad news under wraps for now. Huh? We'll converge later to deliberate on what next to do. Okay? <sighs> this Yala kingdom has been enveloped in darkness. May the gods console us in this our moment of grief. You see... Did you complain of any sickness? I must say that this is a mysterious death. We were with him the other day and he was very healthy. But I heard there that an great Dibia was here yesterday. Why did he see it? Ofoka, the Dibia was here for something else. I know what I am saying. If it's a strong Dibia as he claimed, he would have stopped it from happening. My elders, we cannot question the gods. What we should be discussing now is how to give our late king a befitting burial. Hmm. My orders, there is a problem. What? The sacred calabash. It's missing. What are you talking about? Huh? I think someone took it away. Huh? To where? Oh, I don't know. That is trouble. Big trouble. The question we should be asking now is, what do we do? We cannot crown another king without the sacred calabash. Exactly. Um, my elders, I think what um, we should be discussing now is how to give our late king a befitting burial. At the right time, we will look for the calabash and I'm sure we'll find it. I, I think you are absolutely on point, you know. That's what we should do. <clears throat> my elders. Um, I want us to plan for the funeral ceremony of our late king. As you all know, it's going to be a very big one. Oh no. <laughs> it is. Yeah. My people. Come on. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I It's okay. Dalu? Uh -huh. Hey. So, um, um, we are going to set up committees. Uh -huh. um, the cows, the go all the animals we are going to kill. My others, you're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. I want to use this opportunity to thank you all for the effort you put during my father's funeral. You made it easy. You made it so easy for me and my family. And I've decided to gift you with a cow. <laughs> 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 My friends, 
You've done very well. Thank you so much. You see, we were not expecting this. We only contributed our quota in order for us to give our late king a befitting burial. Uh, we're, we're happy that everything went well. My prince, your son is sick. Hmm? Tell the mother to call Dr. Mezier. He's vomiting blood. You must do what I asked you to do. Did you hear what he said? Yes, my prince. My prince, if he's vomiting blood, then it is a serious issue. Uh -huh. The doctor will take care of that. Just like that. Thank you once again. My good elders of this Yala kingdom. Hello. Hello. I greet you all. Thank you. And I summoned you. Because what is stronger than the cricket is about creeping into its hole. <clears throat> what could that be? Our brother here, Ibezim, came to my house last night. He said something I would like him to say to you all by himself. Ibezim, over to you. Oh no. Could this be an act of cowardice. Tell them what I told you. Don't be afraid. I, a coward. Well, I would want you to say it by yourself. Please. Is there anything there? Who I, I, I told him that I am a fit and proper person to be the next king of our kingdom. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Why will you utter such an abomination before this distinguished council? What is wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? It is you and your father that are out of your mind. Oh, stop, 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 stop it! Oh, no, 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 no. You think you can intimidate me? What is wrong with you? Ibezim, Ibezim. Come on, man. Please, tell us, tell us, tell your kinsmen that you would never say such a thing. Do I have water in my mouth? Ibezim, we have sworn with the Gugu and all our gods put together that you, Ibezim, will never ever utter such a thing. It is evil even to think of it. Ibezim, such a thing has never ever happened in the history of Ishala. But Ibezim, how could you say a thing like that? Have you forgotten our tradition? Don't talk to him! Remind him maybe he has forgotten! This is madness! It that is true! You. you are a wretched father! You are entire generation! That are mad! Somebody should reign in this mad man! I can only allow you to take over the throne. When I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> then you are sitting on the edge of a rope for a tug of war. He's an offspring of a chameleon, not expected to be a good dancer. <laughs> then we will see how he dances well when the real music begins. I am not afraid of your rant. The son of a lion does not feed on the grass. Stop! Hey! <clears throat> Ibezim, sit down. Oh no, I will not sit down. I said sit down! I said I will not sit. Let me tell you, a listening ear will not be cut off in the head. Sit down! I'm not afraid, oh no. Oju, since this nonsense started, You've not uttered a word. You've been mopping. Pretending. 
speak as if you know nothing about it. I want you to say something. Tell us what you know about this show of shame. Oh no. My fellow elders. My prince. I greet you all. This is the first time I'm hearing this. I never heard it before. You are a liar. How could you say your brother is planning a thing like this? An evil thing like this? You never mentioned it to you any day. Don't call me that again. Don't call me that again. Oh, oh. oh it's okay. We are not here to treat insults. Okay? I hear you. Ojuku. Please go ahead. Thank you, No. As I was saying, this is the first time I'm hearing this. But, please, I seek for your permission to speak with Ibezim outside. Go ahead. Thank you very much, No. What has come over you? Why were you disgracing yourself before them? I knew it. I knew you would never stand by me. Ibezi, you are going too far. Do you know what you are asking for? Obina never said he was not ready to be the king. Brother? Yes? Let me ask you, why are you always against my progress? Ibezi, what you are asking for is not progress. You are asking for debt. I hate you. Thank you. I cursed the day you were born. Thank you very much. You have never for one day wanted my progress. Okay. Good. Good, you know, I never wanted your progress. But let me tell you one truth. In our lineage, there is no trace of kingship. Maybe you have quickly forgotten that our forefather was an outcast. Osu, you were a coward. Yes. Just call me a coward. And I'm ready to say it again. What kind of a weakling are you? Ibesim, you call me your brother a weakling? You heard me right. Thank you very much. You never insulted me before. Now I can see the devil at work. But let me tell you one truth. Cut me out of this madness. Fellow elders, please. I'm sorry. You people think I'm stupid! Please, as I was saying, my fellow elders, my prince, I'm sorry. I am not part of this madness. Cut me out of it. Please, I'm going. Ibezim. Let us assume that you must say something. Bia, 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 Ibe, wait. Your voice irritates me right now. Come. What has come over you? Give it to me. Okay. Chief Ibezim, nobody with your kind of blood will ever sit on this throne. I will never disappoint my forefathers by allowing you to sit on this throne <laughs> over my dead body. <laughs> but you spat on your forefathers when you allowed the abomination enter into the household. Chief Ibezim, let me make something clear and perhaps admonish 
There is a saying among our elders that the genitals of an old man is not a plaything for kids. The throne of Isiala is not a child's play. It belongs to Obin Nahir, the son of our late Igwekala. And he has not indicated that he is not capable of ascending the throne. <laughs> Tell me, why didn't the king present him as the next king? Tell me. Uh, <coughs> Even though the king died mysteriously, he would have presented him officially uh -huh. as his heir. There is something you people did not know. Obin Nahia has no male child. Our tradition says that the king must present his son during the Ofala. But Ibekala did not present him. It is him. Obin has a child. His name. <laughs> By another man. Listen, what are you talking about? Who been there? You did not tell them. No, you did not tell them. Ibezim, what is going on? What, eh? what, what is he talking about? Who? You want to bring a curse upon us here? By bringing another broad as the heir of the throne of Isiala, impossible. Oh no, did you hear? Answer that question. Besides, the king did not tell me anything about it. So, what do we do? If what Ibezim is saying is correct, then we cannot crown Obin as the king. Neither can we crown uh, Ibezim, whose grandfather is Anosu, our king, the king of uh, Isiala. No. Let us summon Ubinna's wife for question. Ibekwe, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Do you really think we need a king now? Do you want me to be honest with you? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Yes. I think we have to play with caution. We have to ask questions before we crown anybody king. Or can let another man keep the crown until Obina has a child that is a son, a son that is his own blood. Okay, now let me tell you what I think. Hmm? Mm -hmm. If Obina says that child belongs to him and he wants us to crown him king, we will support him. We will go ahead and crown him the king of Isiala. Mm -hmm. That is what we will do. Oh no, yes. without the sacred calabash. Two things are not in place here. Remember? Huh. Yes, we can do that with the help of the gods. Mind you, the gods are aware of what is happening. Besides, we've not heard that a king cannot be crowned simply because there is no sacred calabash. Yes, that mm. calabash is just to protect the throne and not a symbol of royalty. But do we have to let that happen in our own time? Who oh, no. My people name me. Ibekwe. We will cross the bridge when we get there. Hmm. Hmm? You are sure of that? Yes. In yes. this matter? 
I have done more than enough to that innocent boy. I gave you two million naira, and I'm ready to give you more. All I want for you is to make him useless and dumb until the crown is given to me. You can as well come to the palace and tell him that the gods will kill him if he becomes the king. Ibezim. That is too much. The gods will take my life. <laughs> the gods will do you nothing because they're already against the boy. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> you are evil. Eh? So this is it. So this is it. Huh? It is not what you think. You are evil. You are evil. You are, you are, you are, you are evil. I'll kill this one. I'll, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll, I'll kill you this man. Who will I use? Who? Who? Hi. My prince. What? What is it? Obunaya is dead. Take two guards with you and bury him. My prince! Won't you come and see him? I said go and bury him. Yes, my prince. <laughs> I greet you, my elders. Thank you. Thank you, Obinna. Obinna, you know why we are here. You are putting on the royal bracelet. And you must not tell a lie <laughs> while wearing it. You cannot tell us a lie. If he lies to us, <laughs> we will make him to hold your phone and say seven times. Of course, he can. Can we just allow him to talk? Yes, he will talk because we don't have all the time in the world. Oh, yes. Let him talk. <clears throat> Ufoka. <clears throat> Kano. Both of you should be aware that you are not first class chiefs. Therefore, you should stay within your boundaries. Okay? No, no. 
uh, this has nothing to do with being first class or second class. This has to do with all of us. <laughs> Prince Obinna, is the child yours or not? The child is not my child. No! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! This is just what Ibezin was telling us about. No, we do not need further proof. Obina, we cannot crown you the king of this cellar kingdom. The gods will kill all of us. Neither will you presume to become the king. Uh, Ofoka, mm. I have something important to do at home. I also do. Alam bim. Isiga fwese ya gabu Onye chinye reze ya gabu riri Mbiri zosia ala gabako Eze sina chadi ya zo ya zo Isiga fwese Didn't bother to ask how he died. I didn't want to ask. Perhaps the gods did. Are you happy that he died? Are you sad that he died? Tell me. I have told you never to allow anyone to see you until you deliver. I am under house arrest there. You can call it whatever you like. I understand exactly what you're trying to say. But the job is I don't want you to panic at all. The sacred calabash has been missing for a very long time. And Obinna can never be crowned the king of this land without it. It's not oh. possible. Is that the reason for the delay? We cannot tell you lies. Seize this opportunity now to do all that you need to do if you want to be the Igwe of Isiala kingdom. The two of us here are solidly behind you. But if I may ask, oh. what happened to the sacred calabash? We once heard that Igwe Kala killed an innocent maid. I also heard that he impregnated the maid before killing her. It's not about hearing, it's a fact. It happened. Oh, Melie, I've not heard of this. You should have told me this earlier. Mm, that is why we are here. We have come to discuss this very important issue. I still want to ask. Oh. What happened to the missing Calabash? Secret Calabash. You have not told me anything about it. Igwe Kal brought a strong Bibia to close the palace and to appease the secret Calabash. But the strong Dibia vanished with the Calabash. And that same day, Igwe died. I tell you. And nobody knows where the Dibia came from. I will reward any man that will show me where that Dibia lives. Ije Ibezim, there is something I want you to do. You have to embark on a journey to Abagana to meet a certain native doctor. Hmm? He will fortify you. Obege Kaka, the Kamwado and then give you a calabash that you will use for the rites and the sacrifice. <laughs> That's a fake calabash. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't call it that. Even your body fake on Abu. Whatever you call your dog, that is his name. Oh, yeah. If you call it fake, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. We all know that the secret calabash is missing. How do we crown Obina King without it? Uno, 
you know, I've been worried about this. And I've asked you this question several times. How do we go about this? <clears throat> My fellow elders. I know. You will all agree with me that uh, we cannot stay without a king. Yes. So what I would suggest is this. Let us crown Obina yeah. as our king. We can look for the calabash anytime, and I'm sure we'll find it. Yeah. Yes. Do you agree with me? Oh, no. Yes. Obinna has agreed that that child does not belong to him. How do we cry him king without an heir? It is not our tradition. Ojuku. Oh, no. We now have an heir. Eh? I I don't understand. <laughs> Adora yeah. gave birth to a baby boy last night. Hey! <laughs> I told you why you put it. Very good. Right. Great. Great. That's a good news. Uh -huh. Very, very good news. Yeah. But wow. but where is the sacred calabash? Uh, should not be a problem now. I mean, because I mean we can go ahead and kind of be a king. Now that the issue of hair or no hair is already sorted out. I mean, ah. Let's go ahead and do that. If we must crown Obin a king, then let us do it now. I think Ujuku is right. Good. So in that case, we need to start buying the items for the coronation now. Exactly. Uh -huh. So, that was why I called this meeting. Imbezim is taking this matter too far. And we cannot watch him pour sand into our eyes before we do something about it. Hmm? So what I would suggest is, we perform the necessary sacrifice and crown our prince here, our king. What do you think? Oh, no, you have no, no, no. spoken well. Thank Permit you. me to stand to make my point. Go ahead. Mm. Let us see this issue from a different perspective. Mm. Well, we all know that Obina is the rightful successor to the throne of Israel Kingdom. Nobody is disputing that fact. Mm -hmm. and as I but what I'm saying is that the young man has said that the child does not belong to him. Let us not provoke the gods. Let Ibezim ascend the throne of Isiala, pending when Obina will get an heir and the sacred calabash found. Just sit down. What exactly are you trying to tell us? Ojuku? Yes. What I am saying is that Ibezim mm -hmm. should be given two or three years <laughs> to ascend the throne and put things in order, pending when Obina will get an heir and the sacred calabash found. It is, it, it is very clear. Very clear. Ah, no. If not that, you are a titled man. I would have asked a major to fill your. No, 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 come on, don't, don't, don't say that. But, 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 what is wrong with what uh, Kano has just said? Oh. Eh? What is wrong there? Look, but if you don't accept, any one of them who finds that secret calabash between that Ibezin and Obina will be made the, the, the next secret. Oh, do I got it? Badadash. Absolute nonsense. I can see that both of you have succumbed to the Bezim's bribery. Don't point that filthy finger at God. Let me imagine him. You, you, you think I do not know that uh, Obin has bribed the three of you? No, the thing we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what you don't know. You don't overshot your meal simply because you are rich. Israel Kingdom 
cannot be forced to do what is wrong simply because we seem to be under pressure. We will not allow somebody who has no kinship blood in his lineage to sit upon the throne of this kingdom. It has never happened before and it will not happen now. In Ojuku, there is nothing like kingship blood. The competent and most capable person should ascend the throne. Yes. Is that not what our tradition says? Yes. I see you people want us to die for another man's cause. Uh, hey, Kano, just keep shot. I will not shut up. Ojuku, I will it. not. Keep the blood shot. Stop yeah, provoking. Okay. What kind of nonsense is that? It's okay. I say it's okay. I'll greet you, my elders. You are welcome, my, my prince. prince. I am pleased to announce to you the arrival of my son, Prince Obinaya Ibukala. <laughs> my prince. This is good news. Very good news. Now we have something to celebrate. Yes. Oh no. Yes. Please, I want you to wear him the royal bracelet. I will do just that. I'll do that, my prince. We know. Tomorrow, we go immediately and buy all the items needed for the sacrifice. Yes. And the eventual coronation of our prince. He is our king eventually. My prince, oh no, we will perform the sacrifice tomorrow. Hmm? Good. My elders, oh no, <laughs> this meeting is over. He's angry and he's still collecting cola. Do not mind him. My prince, oh no, we've actually bought the items for the sacrifice. Hmm? Um, we are going to perform the sacrifice tonight, hmm? as soon as the first cock crows. For the coronation, we will do it immediately after, or maybe in the morning. Hmm? Is that okay by you? Oh no. Hmm. Thank you so much. Good. My others. My prince. I thank you so much too. Thank you are welcome, my prince. And uh, please, my prince. Very important. Remember, for now, keep away from any woman, even your wife. That one is very important. Hmm? I will. His wife gave birth to a baby boy. Oh, oh. Are you sure he's telling you the truth? It is the truth. Yes. He can't lie in such a case. Yes. Uh, he has a royal bracelet. Uh, then we should have told him that sacred calabash must be provided <coughs> before the coronation. We tried, but we couldn't convince them. They want to crown him king secretly. And when would that be? Tomorrow. And now listen, if both of you are on my side, you must do everything within your power to stop it. Oh. We are on your side. But you have to go to Abagana. There is a strong Dibia there. He will give you another calabash. <laughs> Once you come back, you are the king of the Siala kingdom. Chivibazim, one thing beats my imagination. Why will your brother, Ojuku, be against this ambition of yours? I, I think you should get rid of him. Because I, I won't spare him. Eh? I, I, I call Nyanzi. That one. Forget about that fool. I know how to get him. Drink, drink, please, and be <laughs> happy. Very sweet boy. How many percentages is the alcohol there? It doesn't look like what we've been tossed to get it. <clears throat> ah. <clears throat> What you are asking for might take your head. Mm. Mm. It is very difficult. I came all the way from Isiala to seek your help. My people are in darkness. They need to see the light. Mm. And I'm the one to give them light. Mm. 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 Let me see your palm. You can never turn down the will of God. Though it may delay, but my
<laughs> a monkey and a gorilla look alike, but a monkey is a monkey and a gorilla is a gorilla. I don't see you as a king, but if you want me to help you, I will help you, but you shall face the consequences alone. No problem. You are desperate. I am not desperate. I am one who loves my people. They are in darkness. I need to give them light. I am the one to liberate them. Are you calling the ghost blind? I am one who loves my people. I need to liberate them. I love the culture and traditions of my forefathers. <clears throat> like I said, I will help you. But you will bear the consequences. If you fail, you will take your own life. Say again, the consequences will be upon your head if you fail. I have given it a thought before now. Do not come back to me, no matter the circumstances. I've heard you. Calabash, don't forget what I told you. And do not come back to me when the flame begins to consume you. I will come back to reward you when I become the king of Isiala. <clears throat> you can have it. Now go. One more thing. Do not let it touch the ground without a sacrifice in it. Else it will take your own blood. <laughs> Are you out of your senses? Do you hear my horn? Or do you want to die? It is you that will die before sunset. 
you evil man with a very dubious heart. Do you know who you are talking to, old woman? She played the zoo. The lion. Do you want me to push the whole of police division to lock you up? Shut up. A dead man cannot lock up a strong woman. Go home and enjoy the doom that you have brought home. Now let's tell you, on a very last note, if you don't take this your lazy old body out of this room, I will crush you and nobody will ask of you. I said shut up. Okay. <laughs> if you are a very strong man, let me see how you will move that car. And when you're done, you come for this. <laughs> How did you do this? Do not ask me stupid questions. Ma, 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 ma. Please don't drop it on the ground. Please don't let it touch the ground. Please. <laughs> give it to me. I can only give this to you if you help me carry the firewood. Ah! It's all me. Tipi Bezim. The lion of his seal to carry a fire wood on my head? It's not possible. I think that you're not ready to be a king. If I drop this calabash hey, hey, on the ground, you will go mad. Biko, Biko, <laughs> please give it to me, please. <laughs> I can only give you this if you carry the firewood. <laughs> carry the firewood. <laughs> going carrying my wood on your head. Can you mind your business? This is unbelievable. It's going to be a title chief of his Yala kingdom carrying firewood on his head. Is this supposed to be a ritual or, or madness? Tell me. Are you blind? Can't you see I'm helping an old woman? Which old woman? Huh? Which old woman? What is wrong with you, Ibezim? What is wrong with you, Ibezim? Ibezim, come, come back here. What do we call this? Ibezim! 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 Wait, wait, wait. What is it? Talk to me. Are you okay? Okay. It's a bit It's a What do you call this? It's What is it? It's me. It's Carlo. Talk to me.
I have found the secret calabash. <laughs> you did? I told you I would find it. Did you believe me? So where did you find it? Where I found it is immaterial. What is important is that I have found it and it is with me. <laughs> really? I told you I will be the king of Isiala. Can we go and perform the rituals? Sorry, but can I see the calabash now? <laughs> you want to see it? Be careful what you do. I want to see it? Makanabu kwachi nemeze. Isiga kweze ya gabu. Now, can I be crowned the king of Isiala? <laughs> Useless elders. Oh no. Ah, Your Majesty. You're a wise man. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ibeko Anojuku. I will never forget this. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. Igwe! Zuma! Get some drinks. Yes, Your Highness.